Hello everyone, bringing you a new Let's Play, Venom and Spider-Man Separation Anxiety for the Super Nintendo. This video is brought to you guys by GameAnyone.com. Seriously, check them out. Why haven't you already? This is part two to Maximum Carnage, and if you've seen those videos, then you know how much of a piece of shit that was. Uh, a lot of people say Separation Anxiety is better, and this one's also a request, so we'll see. Story mode, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's go with... Spider-Man on this one, because I played Venom mostly on the last one. S uh, Maximum Carnage was a piece of shit, but this game, as you may or may not have noticed, is not made by LJN, which did the last game, and that's why it was a hard piece of shit. So, this one should be better. Alright, punch. Uh, jump. Look at that, how instantly that shield comes up. It's not bullshit like the other one. It looks like it's pretty much the same controls. Alright. Let's rocket that spider Ben. You know, it's, I have a funny story about this game. I remember renting this at Blockbuster when I was younger for the Sega Genesis. And I remember having a lot of fun with it, but just getting stuck at a really hard part. I, I have no idea if this is even somewhat like the, uh, the Sega Genesis version. We'll, we'll see. Like, I, I, for all I know, it's a different game, like how Sunset Riders was. Uh, from what it looks like already, we're already a kind of off to a bad start, because I'm still fighting the same damn bad guys. Look at this, from Maximum Carnage. The guys in the trench coats, the guys in the, uh, the backwards baseball cap, but whatever. As long as I don't have to fight the same damn uh, super villains time after time again, I'm okay. Like, I could handle fighting him maybe two or three times in the game, but not after every damn level. It's like, how many times can I kick Shriek or Doppelganger's ass? I'm gonna assume that it's sort of the same thing how, uh... Um... What is it called? Uh, how Maximum Carnage is, where Spider-Man's the faster but weaker one and Venom is the stronger but slower one. And if I keep getting my ass kicked on here, then I'll switch to Venom, just because he ro helped me rock it on the first game. Uh, it looks like I still get that power smash thing where the health randomly go glows red and then you get a super attack. But uh, once again, I have no clue how to set it up or do anything. God, I really hope that this game doesn't suck. I mean, the graphics are a little better than Maximum Carnage was and his movement seems a lot more fluid. And a a if anything, it's just nice to be hearing different music other than that somewhat crazy train sounding bass song. Oh, come on, it's it's the same female fighters too. I mean, at least she's not a mini boss first. I mean, I guess she's a regular bad guy first. I'm seriously going to get pissed if this is as bad as the second one. If it is, I, that means I'm definitely going to have to do the Genesis version of these games. Since uh, the request I got was actually to just do it in general, but I think uh, he himself said he prefers the Genesis version, so we'll see. But whatever. Oh, come on, Spidey. You can't climb up there and gra grab that health up there? What's the point of it being up there? Alrighty. Sweet. Health, yes. Uh, this game looks like it's just as stingy with the health as ever. Oh god. Bringing the guns out early, huh? Oh, come on, Spidey. Do a different attack. Don't just sit there and grab them, punch them twice, and throw them. Come on. Wasn't the Super Nintendo capable of more, like, combos and stuff like this? I mean, just think of, like, you know, all the fighting games on here. But it's funny, because the first thing that came to my mind was Shitty Shack Fu. Okay, bad example.
But come on, I mean, like, Mario has more attacks than Spider-Man on this. Spidey. Okay, now I'm starting to get my ass kicked again. And th this is only the first level, so this is not a good sign. Damn it. Man. I wish there was just a turn around and throw button instead of like do that punch them twice thing and then be able to throw them like there should just be like a throw button. I have no clue how to do my special moves on this now. The what's that? Uh, the power smash. Yeah, for some reason it, he just doesn't want to do it. Come on, Spidey. There we go. Oh yeah, this game is definitely going to be fucking frustrating, isn't it? Alright, boss time. Uh, hold on. Alright. Oh, no, no, no boss fight? Oh god, alright, there he is. Holy shit, at least it's a different monster. I mean... I'm like shooting myself in excitement because of this. Power up. Come on, Spidey, punch him. Yeah, kick his ass. Does, do they have health bars on? Oh, that, that white thing now. I think my power smashed miss. Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. Easy. Oh, Spider Man, you're so silly. Raw. It's a side-scroller Spider-Man fighting game. Trust me, no one cares about the story. Oh god! There's new enemies! Oh! That's awesome! Seriously, I'm like crapping my pants in excitement. Alright. Bad imagery, I know, right? But, you know what I mean. This is awesome. Maybe later on I'll run through the Genesis version of both games. But only if they're completely different. If it's the same damn game, then no. Especially if Maximum Carnage is still that difficulty. Because that was insane. Oh, come on. What? Just gonna pull a grenade out of your ass? Fine. Was there a password feature on the screen? Or was that options? Like, there were three options. One player mode, two player mode, and something else. Oh, I hope it was a password. We're gonna be continuing this piece of shit game a lot easier. Oh god, woo. Really? Well, that's a little... Lame. How in the hell did you miss that, Spidey? Come on. Well, I guess we get to see. Um, okay. Game wants to do that. Oh, but for sure there is a password system, so that that's good. But again, no continues? Come on, Super Nintendo. Uh. Whoa! Well, that was kind of cool. Whatever I did, I body slammed the guy in a different way. Whoa. 
Wait. Whoa, woo! Oh, come on, Spidey. Though, it is kind of cool that this game kind of requires you to use this move, because on the first game it was kind of useless other than you for climbing. Alright, no more. I like how that guy was just standing there, just watching, waiting his turn. At least he's nice about it, right? Health, yes! Oh, come on! Alright, so I can get out of it. <laughs> huh. Oops, I honestly didn't mean to do redo it that time, but okay, why not? Sure. Lucky power hit, huh? Oh, come on, Spidey. You know, I kind of forget that I have web moves, even though I am Spider-Man, I get that, but... I don't know, it just, most of the time it seems dangerous to use, because you're going to do that, then you automatically grab the guy, which is good for one-on-one, -on -one, but not for when someone else is just going to hit you and knock you out of it. And it's kind of lame that a power hits can miss, like, you know, like, it just doesn't give you mercy and let you keep keep it till you actually legitimately hit someone out ah, whatever I'm just being a baby I guess um whoa I guess we'll finish this level and then end the video oh woo sweet all right well the game's still a little merciless with the heart but I mean it's not as bad it seems was that extra life? Yeah. Huh. Oh yeah. Oh, who's this badass? Oh, let me try that again. Can we web this guy up? No, we can't. Damn! This guy means business. You know, I gotta try. I wanna try the shield. Come on, shoot me again. Come on, I, I just wanted to. Never mind. Because I have yet to, you know, be able to shield anything successfully on either of these games. Alright, uh, actually, yeah, uh, stay tuned for the next episode and we'll continue on, uh, Separation Anxiety.